And today is the day. This is what you all have been waiting for, right? How to draw some hair. Amazing hair. And I'm sure you have already guessed that you're gonna need a graphic tablet for this purpose because with a mouse it is just not possible. So if you own a graphic tablet, grab it and let's jump right into the tutorial and I'll show you how to draw some amazing hair in a matter of minutes. And before we get started, I need to mention that the posing and the hairstyle is inspired by a great artist named Ricardo Rodriguez on ArtStation and this is the piece named Control which I use as a reference to draw the hair in posing. So great shout out to this guy. We gotta start with a very basic shape. I'm using a soft large brush now. It's a normal brush, the default brush in Photoshop. And I am just drawing the base shape of my hair that later on I will be enhancing upon. You don't need any precision at this stage. You just have to determine how you want your hair to look like. So just shape it the way you want it to be. And as I said, I am using a reference which I'm gonna put up on the screen right now so you can see it as well. It's a good idea to know what you're going for before you start or at least have a reference or keep something in your mind and draw based on that image. And do not worry about matching the color with the color of your hair because we are just painting using one solid color and it's not gonna look good. It doesn't have any details so you don't have to match it with the color of your hair. It'll be all magically and automatically done as we add more layers of details. It'll all blend in with the hair very fantastically. So just shape your hair and we will add details layer by layer later on together. Here's where the fun part begins, we're gonna add the details layer on top of another layer. So with every layer of detail I'm gonna make my brush smaller. So with this first layer I'm gonna make my brush smaller than I used to draw with and start drawing thinner strokes of hair. And I'm using a slightly darker color just because I want my brush strokes to be visible on top of my base color. And I'm just going to go over all the shape, go over all the hair and just fill it up with these thinner brush strokes. And as you can see, I am not being again very precise. I just do it messy because this is still the base of it and we're going to build up upon it by adding more layers of highlight, shadows and all that. And one thing to keep in mind is try to paint in the direction of the hair. So for example, if my hair is going from the left to right, I also draw from left to right. And if you draw the opposite way, it will not look that great. So always try to draw the hair in the direction of the hairstyle and you'll be good to go as long as you keep that in mind. Okay, now it's starting to look like something, but we still have a lot to do because at the moment it looks like garbage. Pay attention that I don't use any other tool but the brush tool. This is the only thing you need to create amazing results. Just be patient and keep on drawing until you are satisfied with what you've got. And every once in a while I like to zoom back and take a look at the image as a whole to see how the hair fits with other elements in the image and if it does not look good I try to change it a little bit. It's always a good idea to zoom in and out to keep an eye on the whole image.
Okay, after I have my base done and ready, I'm gonna grab a slightly lighter shade of gray and I'm going to paint on the same layer on top of my base hair that I have drawn. And this time I'm even going to make my brush thinner than before and I'm gonna add more details with a lighter color. So let's do this, let's see how it goes. I only paint my hair with neutral colors which is black, white or any shade of grey and uh, after I'm done painting it I can add highlights to it with any color that I want but in the drawing process I only use shades of grey so each time you want to add an extra layer of detail just slightly make your color brighter and start painting with thinner strokes and that's I think the secret to this and you have to be patient with it you can't rush it if you want a good result you just have to invest a good amount of time as well. We've done quite a nice job so far. Now, following the rule that I said, we're gonna make our color a little more brighter and we're gonna make thinner brush strokes to add extra detail. Let's go. You have already noticed that this is a very straightforward process it's just picking up the right value and drawing in the right direction and giving it the time it needs to be built up and this is pretty much how it's done but even if you want to know more in depth about this like how to create those tiny little hair strands add details to this giving it more volume making it more fantastical than it is already adding the highlights to this and giving it more volume and making it look more fantastical than it is already comment down below and i'll consider making a tutorial explaining all the details you need to turn this into something that actually works for you and as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next episodes till then peace out